Happy Friday. Cheers, my people. We've waited a long time. We've waited a long time for days like this. And when I said days like this, I didn't mean Friday. What I meant was Chris Brown responding to fart face in the right corner over there. Chris Brown responding to the hate. He finally said something back. I'm excited. I didn't hear about this at all on social media. So I want to see what he replied. Because why does shorty hate him for? Like, there's not even no, even if you don't like somebody, like I told you, I get it. You might not like somebody. But why put that much energy in the situation or even go viral for that? Because now you brought attention to see Breezy, more attention to Chris Brown, more attention that he was even nominated. I would have never known. I didn't even watch the VMAs. A huge Chris Brown fan. I'm happy he's nominated. Now I'm like, damn, that's super fire. Now I got to look up the song that he was nominated for. What did he get nominated? I don't even know. I didn't watch it. If you didn't do the I Just Smelled the Far Face, none of us would have known. What did we learn from this? So after after we watch this, we'll speak about we'll speak about a lesson that we should have learned from this entire situation. Also, I'm telling you guys, you got to get the Happy Dad sponsor one day on this channel. Happy Dad or Jameson, whoever come first. So what's your, your favorite song of all the songs you've done? What's your favorite song? And give me your top three. That's hard. Top three. Man, Take You Down will be up there. It's so hard for me because I have, hard. just to be honest, I have about 15,000 unreleased songs, right? What? Yeah. Hey, as a Chris Brown fan here in 15,000 songs, we know we'll get Chris Brown songs for the rest of our lives. Not only that, it shows us that our, one of our favorite artists of all time is in the studio putting in that work. Putting in that work. That's why he stays relevant. That's why he dominates the charts. You can like him. You can hate him. The man has been relevant since he was like 16. There's none like Breezy. We've been a huge fan. One of my favorite artists of all time. That has never changed. And that will never change. In my phone alone, like in my in certain apps, I have, I want to say, maybe... 1800 just 1800 to like yeah so obviously we're wow. in your studio yeah so you come down here like you know it's like and just crank out song yeah yeah uh, it was a point. It was a point where I, I used to stay in the studio. Like when I was doing a lot of my earlier albums, I had to learn. But but around, I want to say around the Fame album. It's funny he says that. Fame is my favorite album by Chris Brown. A lot of you guys might agree. A lot of you guys might hate it. Doesn't make a difference. It's probably just what I was going through in life at that time. Young teenage days. There was a lot going on. And that was the soundtrack to my life at one point. Fame by Chris Brown brings back so many memories. Certain stuff like that. I was kind of like in my in my zone. I knew how, yeah. I knew what yeah. I wanted. Okay, using your bag. Yeah. So so even for me now, I put the studio in my house because I can draw Instagram. All right, so when they said Chris Brown responded, I thought he meant verbally. It looks like he just responded on an Instagram story in a cryptic message. Let me mind my business. I'm the GOAT and you know it. With a little smirk and a heart. I guess the reason that they tied both together with the Selena Gomez is because that's the only thing going viral right now regarding Chris Brown and any hate that I know of. So I'm assuming that's why the internet put that together. A little disappointed. I thought he was going to verbally talk about the situation. But I do think Chris Brown's a GOAT. I've said it from years to years to years i definitely think he's the the goat right after i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna compare him to my of our generation when it comes to pop music i'm putting chris brown over anyone it doesn't matter what we're saying over anyone chris brown and people think drake's run's been forever you guys know i'm a huge drake fan on this channel that's my like three-headed goats right there i can't even put do three-headed goats i need four because Weezy gotta go up there but chris brown little wayne kanye and drake my entire list is built off longevity but wayne after all the issues he went through before where you know cash money and everything it's a little bit of a decline thing about breezy is that he's always gonna give you one of those same thing with yay Ye. yay's fan base is so crazy that we've always kept them relevant even wheezy wheezy a lot of people don't give him the same attention out of every, all those other people i just named like we used to i be trying to tell you guys people be sleeping bro go listen to harden just the song harden off of one of his funeral album i think it was yo Weezy wayne's still going insane i'm still a huge little wayne fan all we learned from this was if you don't like some one, don't put energy in it because look selena gomez if you obviously don't like the person too much just gave him all this attention you got him sending hearts and smirk faces He's at the crib laughing with his feet up right now reading people yelling breezy's the goat he's like i'm the go you empowered him so don't taint your life with negative energy if you don't like someone avoid the energy avoid the person avoid the thought that's what we learned from this i'm not you could be a Selena Gomez fan. You could do whatever you want. You know, definitely it's Team Breezy here. It doesn't matter who you're a fan of, who you don't like. Stop putting your energy in stuff you don't care about and stop tainting your brain with what brings your mood down. Just do with what stuff you like. She could have went viral for something that she liked. Now she's going viral for something she hated. Let me know down below. How do you guys feel about this situation? We're on the road to 10,000 subs, so please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts. Breezy, bitch!